Just laundry beads are enough. The bathroom will smell fresher than ever. I tried this method when we were expecting guests. I use laundry pearls regularly. I enjoy their scent. I add them to every wash. That's why I always have them on hand. I also regularly use them to make a homemade diffuser. In a small container, I mix them with baking soda and add a few drops of baby oil. Then I insert a few cloves on top. I place this diffuser in the bathroom. It looks classy and smells delightful. Everyone notices it. So why not use these pearls to freshen up the toilet? Can they replace an air freshener? They contain more fragrance ingredients than other laundry products. They gradually dissolve in water, releasing an intense scent. Even a small amount is enough to smell their aroma. And it's not about just throwing them into the toilet. There's a better way to use them to emit a pleasant scent. Take an empty hanger. The only thing to watch out for is that the hanger doesn't have two large holes. Fill it with scented pearls and close it. Hang it in the toilet and flush the water. After the first use, you'll feel it's a great idea. So next time you're expecting guests and run out of toilet freshener, grab some scented pearls. You can use them for as long as you want. Mix and place it in an empty toilet hanger. A homemade cube will work in any toilet. Is your toilet hanger empty? Don't have a new one. You don't have to rush to the store right away. You can prepare your own insert for such a hanger. Pour about three quarters of a cup of water into a pan or pot. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch or potato starch. Mix it in cold water to dissolve. Now start heating the container. Stir and bring the mixture to a boil. It should be quite thick. To the resulting mixture, add a packet of citric acid. Mix the citric acid with the mixture until it completely dissolves. Add a generous amount of detergent. It can be dishwashing liquid or laundry detergent. Finally, you can add essential oil, for example, tea tree oil. Mix everything well. Transfer to a smaller container. Cover the area with foil for hygiene. Prepare an empty toilet hanger. Take a disposable spoon. Use it to apply the mixture to the hanger. And it's ready. Hang the hanger in the toilet and flush the waiter. The deterrent and citric acid will gently clean its interior. The toilet will be cleaner and fresher. Mix and place it in an empty toilet hanger. A homemade cube will work in any toilet. Is your toilet hanger empty? Don't have a new one. You don't have to rush to the store right away. You can prepare your own insert for such a hanger. Pour about three quarters of a cup of water into a pan or pot. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch or potato starch. Mix it in cold water to dissolve. Now start heating the container. Stir and bring the mixture to a boil. It should be quite thick. To the resulting mixture, add a packet of citric acid. Mix the citric acid with the mixture until it completely dissolves. Add a generous amount of detergent. It can be dishwashing liquid or laundry detergent. Finally, you can add essential oil, for example, tea tree oil. Mix everything well. Transfer to a smaller container. Cover the area with foil for hygiene. Prepare an empty toilet hanger. Take a disposable spoon. Use it to apply the mixture to the hanger. And it's ready. Hang the hanger in the toilet and flush the waiter. The deterrent and citric acid will gently clean its interior. The toilet will be cleaner and fresher. Pour this foaming mixture into the toilet and see what happens. This trick is used by housekeepers in five-star hotels. Thanks to it, you can clean even a heavily soiled toilet literally without scrubbing. The bubbling foam will do all the work for you. Pour five tablespoons of laundry detergent into a bowl. Then add five tablespoons of salt. It has disinfectant and strong cleaning properties. Due to its properties, Salt can successfully replace harmful chemicals in many situations. Add 50 milliliters of vinegar to the powder. It excellently eliminates bacteria, germs, and mold. It can even tackle very old deposits of lime scale that often accumulate under the rim of the toilet bowl. Mix everything together.
the mixture will start reacting and foaming immediately. This combination of ingredients acts like an invisible brush. Just pour it into the toilet. It's worth pouring it on the walls as well. Then leave it for several minutes. The active foam will dissolve water deposits and disinfect the inside of the toilet. The bathroom will be filled with a fresh, clean scent in just a few minutes. The yellow stains on the toilet seat will disappear within minutes. The toilet will be white again without using harmful detergents. Do you have such stains on the underside of the seat? Many people struggle to remove them. They form due to the deposition of urine and water droplets during flushing. Urine stains the seat, and the lime scale formed by the water can initially be invisible, then gradually take on a slightly yellowish color. If you clean the toilet and seat with strong detergents, its surface may be damaged and more susceptible to various stains. But there's a trick to it. Just make a homemade paste. The stains and discolorations will vanish. The toilet will be white again. This method saves me in such situations. I don't have to replace the seat with a new one yet. Take baking soda and pour it into a container. Add some hydrogen peroxide to it, just enough to create a paste. Mix it. It's best to use an old toothbrush for this. It's perfect for applying this substance to stains. The baking soda and hydrogen peroxide paste should be thick enough to stick to the stains. Leave it on the toilet for about 10 minutes. During this time, the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide will dissolve the stains. Then just remove everything, wipe it with paper, and you're done. Discover the secrets of the toilet brush that you probably didn't know about. Unscrew the brush and pour some liquid into it. By cleaning the toilet, you'll immediately have a brush with a liquid that will clean the inside of the toilet bowl. But that's not the only hidden function of such a brush. There's also a brilliant reason why it's worth using such a brush to scrub the floors in the bathroom. Such a brush is perfect for this purpose. We're not talking about the toilet brush you use every day. We only use that brush for cleaning the toilet. But there's a reason why it's worth having a second brush, a new one. Such a brush with stiff bristles has another good use. Prepare a container and pour baking soda into it. Add a small amount of water. Mix the baking soda with water to create a paste. Baking soda is a slightly abrasive substance. It cleans stains, gently whitens, kills mold, and absorbs moisture. Dip the new toilet brush into the baking soda solution. Apply it to the tiles, focusing on the grout lines. Begin gently scrubbing them. The baking soda will slowly start to work, dissolving dirt, stains, and killing mold if it's on the grout lines. The brush with such stiff bristles will perfectly remove all that dirt. Leave the soda on the grout lines for some time, then wipe the tiles with a cloth. After they dry, you'll notice the difference between the grout lines. You clean it with soda and the rest. You can see the difference for yourself. You can see which grout lines were dirty before cleaning and which ones are now clean. And it's all thanks to backing soda and the toilet brush.